Should we go home and dry you? Hmm? Look at you! <laughs> oh, you're so cute! <laughs> brush should we give you a brush make you all pretty hmm? fluffy Enough, huh? That's dry enough. Should we start brushing you? Mm -hmm. You want to be a pretty girl? I use three different brushes to brush Mocha, and they are a normal brush, slicker brush, and a comb. Did you know that it damages the coat of a Pomeranian if you dry brush them? And that's why it's important using a grooming spray to dampen the coat. I start with the normal brush just to loosen the parts of the coat where it feels a bit sticky or they're a bit uh, stuck together. By loosening the fur first, it will hurt less when we move to the other brushes. I don't brush with this brush for too long at all. You can skip the normal brush if you wish. We won't brush you too much with this one. <coughs> not more, Mocha. We're not using this one too much. Good. Once I am done with the normal brush, I start uh, using no. the slicker brush and start the process on her belly. Now, Mocha doesn't like to lay on her back for brushing, so we have to do it this way over the counter. Um, but if your dog uh, lets you put them on their back, feel free to do that if it's going to be more comfortable. Mm. No. Good girl. Good girl. You don't want to give me one? Oh, thank you. Once I am done with her belly and underarms, I start on her back with the slicker brush. I start close to the tail and work my way up. I do separate the fur into sections and brush it bit by bit. I find that this way it works better for us because it gets into the undercoat more and separate the undercoat for a fuller appearance. You will see at the end the difference that it makes. As I finish brushing each section with the slicker brush, I switch to the comb. I go over these sections with the comb because the comb separates the fur where the slicker brush wasn't uh, successful to do that. With Pomeranians, it's very important to not only brush the top coat, but the undercoat too. The undercoat is what makes their long coat stick out and appear puffy. I have just switched back to the slicker brush to brush the top of her head and behind her ears. Uh, behind the ears is another section that can get matted very quickly. Mm -hmm. 
Once again, I separate the fur and brush bit by bit to ensure each, bar each part is brushed properly and the brush reaches the undercoat. I make sure that the brush is moving upward and away from the body. Moving the brush in an upward motion makes the fur stick up so it doesn't sit flat against the body. I'm now going over with the comb so any parts of the fur that are still stuck together get separated. Spray your front now. Oh no. For the mane, I'm doing the same thing as I did for her back, separating each section bit by bit and doing it this way so that uh, it gets into every part of her undercoat. Doing it this way will make her fur appear fuller and more volumized. I get asked a lot how often I brush Mocha. I do brush her every day. It takes me about 20 minutes to half an hour to brush her. She is very good usually with brushing and I just want to make sure that her fur doesn't get any knots. I know baby, you've got a lot to be brushed down here. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Comb now, Mocha, because you've got a lot here that needs attention. Before I finish, I do like to go over the top of the head and brush upward even more so the fur on the top of the head looks extra puffy. You'll get to see soon. Here, I was actually brushing forward as well so that the fur on the back of her neck stays up. Good girl. You ready for the day now? <laughs>